Hello and thank you for joining our DAS video series. In today's video, we'll be showing you the new trading feature to the DAS called the One Cancels the Other Order, or OCO for short. OCO orders allow you to place two orders simultaneously with the stipulation that if one order gets filled, the other is cancelled. While OCO may be used in most any situation involving two orders, they are most commonly used to place a stop and a target order at the same time. Up until now, traders on DAS were able to do this using our range stop order. However, only market orders were allowed when the trigger prices were reached. Now with the OCO feature, traders are able to utilize limit prices for their target as well as their stop orders. Setting up your OCO trade. To set up your OCO trade, you must first change your trading montage to the OCO style option. To do this, place your mouse in your trading box and do a right click. Then go to style and select OCO. As you can see, there's a lot more information in your trading box, so you may have to adjust your trading montage to fit all this information. Once your montage is set, you can start filling in the parameters of your order. For our example, I already have an established long position in Microsoft for 500 shares. Currently Microsoft is trading at about 28.18. I'm going to set up an OCO order with a stop market at 28.15 and a target limit price of 28.20. It doesn't matter which order I put in the top area here, but I'm going to start off with my stop order. First I'll set my shares to 500 by pressing on the P, then I'll proceed to route and select stop. Stop type, I'll set to market with a trigger price of 28.15. The rest of the fields are already set so I can move on to the box here that says trigger order. In the future this is going to be changed to say OCO order but in any case you need to make sure that this box is checked. Unchecking it will just send the order in the upper section here. So I'll go ahead and place a check mark and move on to the bottom section to set up our second order. Our second order will be set up to be a sell limit at a price of 2820. I'm going through the fields, my count is already set. The action I will change to sell. Symbol looks good with MSFT and the shares are already set at 500. I'll move on to the route and set it to limit. I'm going to set my limit price to 2820. Now that everything's set, I'm going to send my OCO order by clicking on the sell button here, which is the desired action for the order in this top section. Watch as I click on the sell button now. You'll see our stop market and sell limit orders appear in the open orders window. Again, if any one of these orders are triggered for execution, the other order is immediately cancelled. Here we see the market for Microsoft has reached the trigger price for our stop market order thereby liquidating our position in Microsoft. Our stop order was also cancelled in the process, completing the OCO transaction. Cancelling OCO Orders If you attempt to cancel an OCO order by clicking on the CXL button, you'll only succeed in cancelling one of the orders, more specifically the top order. If you wish to cancel both orders, you will have to go to your Open Orders window here and click on the X to cancel the second order. Thank you for joining us on our Dash Trader Tips video. We hope you enjoy these features and will find them both useful and profitable. Feel free to join us on our other videos as we go over many key features offered in the Dash Trader. Once again, thank you for joining us.